Dealing with other people is an inherent aspect of being human. But with the eyes of social media, it may now be as easy as checking our phones first thing in the morning, reading a message and being exposed to other people's ideas. Both the good and the evil are going to grow as a result of this increased exposure with the things that have the capacity to bring us pain, discomfort, and frustration. Whether it's an online interaction or face-to-face, -face, some of this may even be directed specifically at us. An insult has the power to cause us great suffering no matter how it is delivered to us. Today in this video we shall cover several stoic techniques to lessen that pain and preserve our mental health, as well as how to set and enforce boundaries that allow us to tell someone when they have over the line without losing our cool. Before diving into the stoic way of handling disrespect you should first understand the problems with disrespect. We have problems with respect and disrespect in particular. For a variety of reasons, a certain degree of respect and honor is ingrained in the ideals of most societies. Friction can arise from disrespect for hierarchy, conventions, or cultural expectations. Respect can serve as an indicator of one's standing in society and social circles. In this situation, being disrespectful can be interpreted as a challenge to one's standing within the group. How other people perceive and treat us can have an impact on our sense of self-worth and self-esteem. A person's perception of their own value can be severely impacted by disrespect, or it might be interpreted as an attack on that value. A lot of the time, our sense of being disrespected is really an overflow of feelings that make us feel attacked and we have to react in order to set things right. These emotions frequently lead us to act contradictory to our ideals and in ways that don't reflect who we want to be. They also frequently make us appear insecure because we let other people's actions manipulate us into responding a certain way. We may learn how to deal with disrespect in a constructive way by keeping our cool through stoicism. Although we have no control over other individuals, we do have power over how we react to them. A core of Stoic philosophy is that there are few aspects of life that we can control and aspects that we cannot. While this might sound very simple, we often make mistakes when judging what is and is not within our control. We suffer as a result of these mistakes. When we focus our energies on things that we know will not change no matter how hard we try, or how deeply we feel. We suffer. Only feelings of hopelessness and inefficiency may result from this. We suffer when we don't take responsibility for the things that are our responsibility. Because of this, we never never realize that we have the power to control our own thoughts and start blaming the outside world for our actions. You might wonder how this addresses disrespect. Although the control dichotomy clearly defines what we can control, and what we cannot. The real power is in really understanding these two things. 1. Our mind can be compared to a castle. You are in control of your ideas, emotions and behavior within these walls and you completely own it. Your initial reaction to someone treating you disrespectfully could be to take offense because you feel offended. But this is where stoicism comes in. Telling you to pause and realize that you have the freedom to respond as you wish within these confines. You get to choose whether you allow harsh remarks to get past your defenses or whether you respond in a stronger and more positive way. Another is by imagining the world outside your castle. It is vast and full of innumerable other individuals with their own feelings and thoughts. People are exchanging innumerable thoughts and words here. However, and it is crucial to keep in mind that these are outside occurrences. Even though they might bang on your walls or rattle your gates, they cannot control your thoughts and behavior until you allow them to. This allows us to respond with intention by concentrating on our answer rather than reacting impulsively. All you can do is act in a way that you feel is right. According to Epictetus, insults are like someone pointing out that the sky is green. It's a viewpoint, but it doesn't always represent reality. One of the greatest and most important Stoic virtues is wisdom. For the intent of this discussion, we shall deep dive further into wisdom. 
A crucial aspect of wisdom is the capacity to perceive the world objectively, free of prejudices, assessments, and anticipations that frequently distort the actual nature of our observations. We are better able to make wise decisions and take appropriate action when we are able to see the world more objectively because we have access to more accurate information. But how may this assist us in handling disrespect? The ability to view the world more objectively teaches us that other people's words and thoughts are frequently reflections of their own experiences. Once we grasp this, we may expand the idea to encompass the remarks made by others to us. This filter prevents us from being furious and lets our feelings guide our actions. So, try not to let other people's behavior cause you to stray from your moral principles. They're probably just putting their personal experiences onto the environment. If someone, through an insult or a comment, we have been given an opportunity for reflection that we may not have otherwise had, there will be instances when individuals cross our limits, and we must enforce them. Setting and maintaining healthy boundaries are essential for our well-being, self-respect, and maintaining balanced relationships. Boundaries shield us against exploitation safeguard our sense of value and self-worth, and, in general, enable us to uphold our moral principles and refuse to compromise on what we see to be fair. Once a boundary has been set up, stick to it consistently. Maintaining consistency conveys your seriousness about the beginning and end of that limit. Saying no to requests or circumstances that cross our boundaries is a skill we must acquire. Keep in mind that saying no is a complete statement that doesn't always require justification. It's likely that our boundaries will need to change as we develop and age. Make sure they still fit your current needs and values by giving them a regular evaluation. While giving an explanation is acceptable, try not to justify or explain your boundaries excessively. Your comfort and well-being suffice as justification. It's possible that there will be times where you set boundaries and people push back or behave badly. If they persist in disregarding your boundaries, be resolute and distance yourself from those kinds of individuals. Hopefully this helped to frame the subject of insult, disrespect, and the need for boundaries. You can subscribe to our channel if you want to level up your game in life. Dealing with other people.